welcome to this episode of My Electric Earth. Today we'll be talking a little bit about hybrid cars. But it's a little bit cold outside here, so let's go inside to the warm house. Electric cars is not ready for mass adoption. Hybrids is the way to go forward. You will then get the best of two worlds. You can drive a little bit electric when you like, and then continue on fossil fuel when the battery is empty. No, 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 wait a moment here now. I would like to go so far and say that actually the hybrid car is the worst thing of the two worlds. There is three types of hybrid cars. One type that has a combustion engine combined with an electric motor and it's not possible to charge this car at all. The second variant has the same thing as the first variant, but has the plug so you can actually charge the battery that you have in the car. Both of those methods are using the combustion engine and the electric motor in a combination to move the car forward. The third variant has a so-called range extender that uses a generator fueled by petrol charging the battery in the car so it will last longer. Here the car is always using the electric motor to move the car forward. But if we look on the two first examples of hybrid cars that is the most common. It needs both the combustion engine and the electric motor. That makes it very complex and complicated. It will be more expensive and it's also uh, needed more maintenance than a standard normal combustion engine cars. Also the battery is very small which means that you can't drive so far on a hybrid car in an electric mood. It lasts for example for, for maximum 30 to 40 kilometers. That means that the uh, uh, hassle of having to charge the car for such a small distance makes a lot of people feeling that this is unnecessary and they don't want to do it because it's too much work for, for the little that they gain back. I was actually one time renting uh, a hybrid car not long time ago now and when I came to the car uh, and sat into the car starting it for the first time it was com the battery was completely empty so I had to start drive it on the combustion engine and in my f on my first stop I decided to uh, investigate a little bit how this uh, car was working and how I could charge the battery so I started to look in the car I looked everywhere in the car in the trunk far away in a close uh, closed combined pocket I found uh, a cable laying there in its original package not opened from the factory. So I opened it and took it out and charged the car of course but my point is that uh, even the rental car firm was not bothering to charge the battery for the uh, customers when they start driving. It was not used at all during the lifetime of this car that I actually was has, has been driven quite a lot if you were looking to the meter on the car. So when friends are coming to me and say that uh, uh, Patrick what kind of um, car should I buy now uh, when when should I go for the hybrid I'm not ready for the electric car yet. Actually, I sell, sell, tell them to not buy a hybrid car, just because of those reasons. Either you go fully electric and take those disadvantaged things that comes with the electric car, or you continue with your combustion engine car. This is my recommendation, because the hybrid, it's, as I said, more expensive, more complicated, need more maintenance and probably you will not be a very happy owner of this car. Well, that's all for this episode of My Electric Earth. Until next time, have a great life. <laughs>